The new Actions feature in Acrobat 10 is a great way to automate frequent or complex tasks. In this video we'll be showing you where the actions live and how you can share them with others, including the new Actions Exchange on acrobatusers.com. If you were a fan of batch sequences in previous versions of Acrobat, we'll also be showing you how to enable these for use in Acrobat 10. If you haven't used the new Actions feature yet, it's well worth taking a moment to watch Laurie DeForio's introductory video, which will get you up and running in just five minutes. Visit acrobatusers.com and search for How to Create Actions to find the link to the video. You may need to correct or improve an action you create in Acrobat 10, in which case just use the Edit Facility. It's easy to make changes or even to add steps. You can also quickly duplicate any action by selecting it and clicking the Copy button, which in a neat twist opens up the duplicate action itself, ready for you to make any changes and then save with a new name. I'll say that for this new improved action I want to add certain user restrictions including preventing printing. And now that I've configured the options to do that, I also need to add a password to prevent anyone removing the restrictions. I'll now save this action with the name Sanitize and Encrypt and Prevent Print. My additional revised action is now available for use. To share an action with others, just select it and then choose Export. The action is simply saved out as a sequence file to your chosen location. Colleagues and friends who also have Acrobat 10 can just choose Edit Actions and then Import to select the sequence file and bring it into their own library of actions. Note that these files end in .sequ. In fact, it can be even easier. Here's an action sequence file saved to my desktop, and to bring it into Acrobat 10, I can just double click and then import my colleague's action directly. If you're a Windows user, you'll find that new actions are stored here Documents and Settings, Username, Application Data, Adobe, Acrobat. 10 and then the Sequences folder. And if you're a Mac user, then you'll find them here. Username, Library, Application Support, Adobe, Acrobat, 10 and then Sequences again. By the way, if the Tools panel is not showing the Action Wizard, you can always access it via the File menu, File, Action Wizard. That's a useful tip, especially for Mac users. Now if you created batch sequences in previous versions of Acrobat but they haven't appeared in the Actions list after you upgrade to Acrobat 10, you can usually navigate to the Sequences folder for the previous install and just double click on each sequence to import it. If you do create a great new action to automate a complex task, you can now share it not just with your colleagues and friends but with the whole Acrobat world. AcrobatUsers.com now features the Actions Exchange where users can showcase some of their favourite creations. Once you've exported your action, it's easy to upload it. First, click on the Submit button and you will then see the Actions Exchange upload page. Give your action a title, for example, OCR and export to Word. Select whether you're going to send the action attached to a PDF or send the action file by itself. Enter your short description for the action and then a longer description to follow. You can indicate uh, whether the action runs automatically without pausing for user input or whether it guides the user as it runs. And you can categorize your action, for example, legal. Next, tell us a little bit about yourself. Then finally, navigate to your action, either the sequence file itself or a PDF with the sequence file as an attachment, and select it.
To help uh, others understand your action and how it works, upload a screenshot, for example a JPEG. Remember to press the upload buttons. Finally, as you're providing us with some of your own work, you just need to click on the acrobatusers.com terms of use and read and agree to them in order to finalize the submission. If you improve on an action you have already uploaded, you can even update the original upload. The Actions Exchange has lots of useful actions for you to download and use yourself. Many well-known Acrobat experts regularly contribute. Here's one from Rick Borstein, which is a really useful action for flattening fields and comments in a PDF so that they're no longer editable. Here's Rick's instructions on how the action works, and you can see that he's stored the sequence file itself as an attachment in the PDF. First I'll save the action file out to my hard disk, and then after that I'll go to the Edit Actions dialog box and import it into my action library in Acrobat 10. Hey, now I can be almost as productive as Rick. If you have access to programming skills, you can even include JavaScript in Actions. Look out for the Acrobat 10 SDK on adobe.com for full documentation on what you can automate. So there you go. Actions are not only easy to create, but they're also easy to share. Next time you create a great action for yourself in Acrobat 10, why not take a few minutes to share it and make someone else's life a lot easier?